It is a relief to see you safe, my friends. Faris has explained all that came to pass out upon the sands. It seems a savior appeared and destroyed the lantern before it could lay waste to my... Aye. Though, I wouldn't go calling him your savior just yet. The runes on the barrier around the star, they spelled out a word, Kalasmus. Does that mean anything to you? Kalasmus? Hmm. Sadly, it does not. Well, if it was written on the side of a star, you can bet it means something. Hmm. Yeah, but we can't go letting it distract us too much. Lord Robert, your quest to defeat the Lord of Shadows is a noble one. The people of Galopolis will be praying for your success. Yes, and if there is ever anything you require, you need only ask. Uh oh, I clean forgot. We need to ask the Sultan about that hammer that used to belong to Erdwin. Is there something I can help you with, Lord Robert? As a matter of fact, there is. We're going to need it to defeat Mordigan. Hmm. A giant hammer, you say? Ah, oh, yes! Ferris, fetch the forging hammer from the treasure room. Hmm. This is it. This is Erdwin's hammer. Father, do you truly intend to give the hammer away? We had intended to sell it in order to fund this year's San Nation. <gasps> Silence! Insolent boy. <clears throat> the forging hammer is one of Galopolis' greatest treasures. But if we must relinquish it, then so be it. once told me that the power of the spirit of the land resides within the forging hammer. It is said that it can beat even the hardest of metals into shape. Well, I hope it helps you on your quest. The one assailed by the fiend sleeps still like the bear. Fair Mistress Nico, the rite cannot be performed with the beast abroad. Silence, whining cur! A monk spirit is equal to any monster! <sighs> this accursed wound. Till it heals, I am helpless. The right left undone. Oh, I sure wouldn't want to get on the wrong side of her. Oh, but we have guests. Forgive the storm of my rage. My shame knows no bounds. The wind blew you here. Surely it was not by chance. Will you hear my tale? The Angry Mountain. 
A rite must be performed there, lest fire consume us. But disaster looms. A monk was sent to pray, yet a beast blocked his path. The fiend loomed, monstrous. I longed to hunt it. But I faced another foe and suffered this wound. A great fire dragon. Tatsunaga the Terror. Now he is no more. Forgive my boldness, but the beast blocks our lifeline. Slay it in my stead. I greet your kind words, as the step in high summer greets the falling rain. Head first to the west. You will find a mountain path. There the monster waits. Oh, guiding spirit, guardian of rock and flame, protect these brave souls. Out of here! Go on, go away! <sighs> go away, or I will eat you! The beast is upon us. Stand fast. I... I am the spirit of the mountain, and I have very, very sharp claws. We're going nowhere, not until you promise to stop bullying innocent monks and let the villagers climb the mountain. Huh? Um, was it something I said? Sh shouldn't they be running away? Well, what are we going to do? Shut up, idiot! They will hear us! <laughs> This is all your fault, Aptico. Now we are in trouble. Shut up, Apto! If you had not fallen over, we would never have ended up in this mess. <laughs> so much for our big scary monster. It's just a couple of little ones. You surprised us, darlings. Foolish children. What possessed you to risk your lives with such recklessness? No, we never meant it. <clears throat> we have done no wrong. Miko's right has to be stopped. A tragedy looms. Yes, yes! You have to listen to my brother. Miko wants to do a horrible thing and we have to stop her. Seems these bairns have got a bee in their bonnet about something. 
You will hear us out. Other grown-ups ignore us, as mountains do rain. Do you really think they will? Is someone finally going to listen to us? I think so, and they seem very strong. With them on our side, people are sure to listen. <clears throat> <sighs> we have a hideout. A den, like a fox's home. Hurry, hurry! <laughs> <laughs> for coming. We have been awaiting you, as seeds await spring. These people, my son, the travelers you spoke of? Light in the darkness? Yes, mother. They came. You said you were trying to stop the right. The right is sacred, or so we have long been taught. But this is just wrong. To appease the gods, a sacrifice will be made. Our own dear mother. <sighs> Human sacrifice? Oh my! This right is just not right! Miko gathered us. She made a grave pronouncement. A great shadow fell. In happier times, we offered up fruit, silk, corn. But those days are gone. Without sacrifice, living flame will consume us. The volcanoes rage. <sighs> that Lord of Shadows has got a lot to answer for. I was selected. But why me? Why now? Mother gave us life, so we had to fight for hers. A noble cause indeed. For the whole tree's sake, one leaf falls into the flames. Perhaps I should go. No! Do not say that! A few short days passed. Our mother saw Miko go, where she should not be. Miko learned of this. She now wants the truth buried. A mother also. She hides a secret. Up there on the mountainside. Why else would she go? It certainly sounds like something fishes afoot. <gasps> you will take us there. Beyond this ladder, a path leads into darkness. The volcano's heart.
dead end, it seems. All twists and turns exhausted. The path leads nowhere. Oof. Well, it's a shame and all, but how about we get out of here? I don't know about you, but I'm sweating like a... What in the world was that? Down there! Look! Tatsunaga, the beast Miko spoke of. But did she not claim to have slain it? This is her secret. She did not beat the dragon. She left it to live. That liar, that cheat. Mother will not die for this. Miko must be stopped. Let us hurry back. Still, Atsuo. I will not be still. I will howl it to heaven. Tatsunaga lives. What nonsense he speaks. No, the creature lives. It... <sighs> you lie, wretched child. Ha! I am the beast. What? We took our mother and sought to keep you from her with a bold disguise. Idiot children. Ha! Why believe you? You whose tales of bold conquest were naught but hot air. The beast was not slain. You gave away our futures to save your own skin. Snake, devil, spider. You seek not sacrifices. You seek dragon food. Your scheme lies exposed. Your bargain with the dragon? will not save you now. And what of Ryu, hmm? The son who fought beside you. Was his soul sold too? Enough! <gasps> Hush, mewling kitten. What do you know of the truth? Of... <laughs> Can it truly be the dragon's death a facade? If so, why all this? The dragon is gone. My beloved son slew him and paid with his life. <sighs> now, meddling brat, test the mountain's wrath no more. Bring forth your mother. You shall not have her! <sighs> No. That rule. Come quickly. That's 
Tsunaga! Dragon, it is but a boy! <gasps> Mistress Miko! To sate your hunger, I give up my mortal form. The fox feeds her cub. No! Mistress Miko! Quickly! Fire! He will kill us all! Fate hangs by a thread. So I'd swallow the priestess. Be on your guard. The bitter truth dawns. Day breaks. Its light harsh, cruel. Miko is no more. First Ryu, now Miko. The lion's taken from us. Only sheep remain. Did you see her trying to protect that thing before it ate her? What was that about, huh? Who can know her mind? But one thing is clear. Until its flame is smothered, the beast is a threat. Tatsunaga's lair, at the heart of the mountain. It must be unlocked.
Are the gods so cool? We came for the key. With Mika's light gone, yours is the only glimmer. Come, we have the key. Wait. You must know the truth. It sleeps between these pages. Looks like a diary of some kind. Must be Miko's. My sins rend my heart. I must confess them or scream. Thus, I record them. The battle was fierce. At last, the dragon lay prone. My son drew his sword. But then, like a fog, blackness rose from the dragon. Poor Yu was smothered. I carried him home. He tried to fight the darkness, but the night prevailed. The beast had cursed him. Pain wrapped my poor boy's body. I watched his form change. He was a dragon. No words be true. Not Tatsunaga, but Ryu. This is who we fought? Hey, don't interrupt, honey. I want to hear how it ends. Could he be restored? A storm of doubts assailed me. But then the skies cleared. The magic mirror in which true forms are revealed. This might save my son. Alas, the mirror neither revealed nor restored. Though I tried and tried, my son's hunger grew. The hunger of the dragon for the flesh of men. It burns like hot sun. The agony of knowing. But my son must live. Thus have I chosen. Though others' lives are squandered, my boys must be saved. Ugh, it's a tragic tale. Maybe if we could get our hands on that mirror she mentioned. But Mika is gone. You cannot be saved. Mother Devourer! Peril! Foul scourge! Murderer! The beast must be slain! Yes, the time has come. A warm welcome face. I must 
see the end of the dragon and his tail. I must come with you. Once fought for good, reborn as a beast. Once kind as the sun, once gentle as the spring breeze. Now he burns. For our dear home's sake, I would gladly give my life. He said this to me. He must be released.
I don't like the look of this. Mirror now mastered. The season of the beast ends. That of peace begins. The mirror's power, though great, could not show the truth. With it inside me, at last the miasma cleared. One question remains. How did the mirror get there? First we came here. Rage burned in me at Miko. But though she did wrong, she did it with good reason. She loved her son Ryu, just as we love our mother. <sighs> now to the village. Lost, we are saved. Mother! Yes! <laughs> Can you forgive us? The past is buried. How can the sun shine on a village whose people drift now, rudderless? We believed in lies. Ugh. Are grown-ups not supposed to be able to think for themselves? The dragon is gone. For this, we thank our friends here, but Miko the most. Though she betrayed us, we only live thanks to her. To sacrifice us, must have burned hotter than fire. We must forgive her. A new dawn awaits. We must make our own future. <sighs> they do not need to know the whole truth. They have seen tragedy enough. The people of Hotto must rely on themselves now. 